At a testing facility in the hills of Santa Clarita, north of Los Angeles, Boeing engineers are putting a propeller through its paces. Four, three, two, one. But this is no ordinary propeller. And the aircraft it's for is no ordinary plane. The propeller has a 16-foot diameter and is powered by a hydrogen engine that will take Boeing's Phantom Eye, an unmanned aircraft with a 150-foot wingspan, to 65,000 feet and stay there for up to four days. We're walking before we're running here, and our first phase was to establish those start procedures for the engine. Now that we've got a propeller on, our uh, expectation and success criteria for this test is to be able to control engine speed with propeller control for the first time, just the way we'll do it in flight. The engine and propeller are attached to what the program calls the iron wing, which is a fancy name for the test stand the engine is attached to. Its purpose is to mimic the interface between the wing and the cell on the actual aircraft. We learn how the prop and the engine are going to work. We kind of get an expected behavior for how we run it. So we're establishing really how we're going to start this thing up and run it, and the more we become familiar with it, uh, the less stressful it becomes. Stressful because servicing an unmanned aircraft at 65,000 feet is not an option, so the airplane and propulsion system need to work flawlessly. Do a lot of the basic building blocks, understand a lot of the science and the technology because uh, there's going to be little to, uh, it's quite a waste to come back from 65,000 feet if you have a problem. So it, a lot of key risk reduction activities that are occurring right here. And this is the key, really, proving out the, uh, the propulsion system and the propeller performance. The hydrogen propulsion system is driven by a modified Ford truck engine. For the iron wing test, it's running the way it would in a car. That's fine at sea level, but it's a different story at 65,000 feet where a three-stage turbocharger comes into play. While the engines and propellers are tested in California, engineers in St. Louis are testing the air vehicle and its systems before everything is shipped to Edwards Air Force Base in California to prepare for flight testing.